truth. What is truth? What is essentially true? What is essentially your true nature? What is truth in essence? Not as a concept, not as an energy experience, not as something you touch upon, but as something that moves through you as you, as the greater you. Is there some process to dissolve into truth? Is there some process oriented to realizing the truth of your being? Is it a process oriented unfolding? What is truth? Now, these concepts, these inquiries, are an inquiry into what is real, an inquiry into what is beyond our imagined self, our imagined reality, and our imagined limits that we experience in life. Where do we rest within ourselves? Where do we align within ourselves? How do we align in the deeper? How does the deeper align within us? And how does that move into the world? How does that affect the expression of who we experience ourselves to be in the world? There's something beyond the thoughts. There's something beyond the layers of mental perspective, mental reality, so-called attachments. There's something of the deeper that moves through us into reality as reality, revealing reality as it already is. And so we look back to the source of identification, the source of mind, the source of experience, and we disappear momentarily or permanently into something of a mystery, something of the unknown, something of the unknowable, what is called the void, what is called nirvana, grips us, raptures us, tears us apart, spits us out, and reveals a greater I, a greater individuality that is not of the individual, a greater reality that is simply one with life and absent of self-identification, absent of that separateness that is identifying most humans reality and experience. And so there's a resting in this great unknown within ourselves. There's a, a resting of, of consciousness in this great vast pool of simplicity, of nothingness, of perfect silence. And so you rest in this unknown ocean of perfect silence. And in that perfect silence, there's an expression, a creative expression of reality, of being that moves through you. And that in some ways pushes aside the identified self can even dissolve the identified self, can even destroy 
the identified, illusory sense of self, one's acquired personality, one's acquired conditioned self. And so when we come to this point where you could say our original face is revealed, When we come to this absence of egoic predisposition, the absence of egoic prominence or identity, one might experience expanded conscious experiencing. One might experience a certain profound purity that's through discovering or rediscovering the suchness of who we are as spirit, as freedom incarnate. And so many traditions have been there many lineages have been there to achieve to the unachievable, to achieve to freedom, to achieve to liberation from one's self-identity. And in that sense, there seems to be a lot of words that describe this process, but in essence, it is simply the immediate simplicity of now. The immediate experiencing and entering into now. The expanse of individuality that dissolves into an expanded now. The being, you can say. And so in that sense, I am that. And so are you. Without the you and without the I. Harry Hum, Tatsat. Harry Hum.